Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my devotions. Grace and peace be with you. My topic for today is looking for good leaders. And my scripture reading will be taken from St. Matthew 25, verse 14 to 30. And I'll read. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and trade with the same and made other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and dig in the hearth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of, the, of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. And so he that had received five talent came and brought other five talent, talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the hearth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming I should have received mine own usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which had ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath shall not, not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast thee the unprofitable servants into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Glory be to God. The tremendous flow of the presence of God will trigger an unprecedented spiritual harvest throughout the world. To prepare for this, God is raising up leaders of integrity, men and women of purpose, who will be able to work in cooperation with Him to reap this great end time harvest. This world is crying out for leaders of integrity. The Daily News recently headlined an article, Where is the leader we so badly need? History reveals that many forms of government which started with good intentions ultimately failed. And in most cases, the failure was due to the moral downfall of leadership. You can be the leader God is seeking. You are a steward set over many valuable resources, which he has entrusted to you. The greatest resources with which he have been entrusted, of course, is the gospel. But you are also responsible for other things, finances, material things, and spiritual gifts. 
which God has given you. The men and women God is seeking to be at the forefront of this end time harvest are those who will use every resource at their disposal to fulfill his plan. God is not looking for educated men and women with natural abilities, charisma, or personality. He is seeking those who will be faithful to accomplish his purposes. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Please read 1 Corinthians 4 verse 2. Jesus told a parable in Matthew 25 verse 14 to 30, which I just read, about servants whose master gave them resources called talents, a New Testament, a New Testament terms for money. Those who were good stewards and used their funds wisely were judged faithful and rewarded. Those who did not use their resources properly were held accountable. The qualifications God seek as he is raising up leaders to reap this end time harvest are not natural abilities, education, or a great resume. He is more concerned with your anointing character and conduct. The test of any man, woman, or ministry is not spiritual gifts, power, or natural abilities which are evidence. The standard of evaluation is spiritual fruit. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Please read Matthew 7 verse 20. Spiritual fruit, qualities of character and conduct reveals what a person is really like inside. Please read Luke 6, 43 to 45. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for yet another day. And Lord, as we go through this day, help us to build up Christ-like character. Let our light so shine that men might see our good work and glorify our Father, which is in heaven. Father, help us to exercise our spiritual fruits in you, dear God, so that others will see the life that we live, that display that's the fruits of the Spirit within us. Help us to be godly towards so that we will manage your resources that you have invested in us so that we can become great leaders. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have been blessed today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. A big thank you for all who have been supporting me from the beginning. God bless you. I pray that you will have a wonderful and great day in the Lord today. Peace be with you.